What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Golf Magic channel and welcome back to another equipment review video. Now, it's getting into November now, the clock's going back, we've had Storm Alex, Storm Barber, Storm everything coming in. And so, to help with that, I'm at Gray's Golf in Lewis, an amazing custom fitting facility that I'd recommend you go to if you're in the market for some new clubs and get it custom fitted. Now, what I've got here is the GC Quad, but more importantly, what I've got here is a brand new iron from Cobra Golf. Now, if you haven't seen already, Cobra Golf have released their new Players Tour iron with MIM technology. Now, I'll get into that a little bit more in the technology section, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna talk about this club, have a hit on the GC Quad, see how it performs just in terms of the optimal spin rate and distance, and then see if it's right for your game. Let's get right into the video. Now, first things first, let's talk about Cobra Golf a little bit, just as their company and what I'm expecting out of this iron. Now, Cobra Golf has been around for a long time, and up until recently, their clubs haven't been rivaling the likes of TaylorMade and Callaway. But in the last few years, they've moved on leaps and bounds, especially with their drivers, and they're can definitely considered now a front runner in today's golf market. The recent Cobra Speed Zone driver is maybe the best driver of 2020 in terms of results, and it looks superb too. But what I feel like they're limiting themselves with a little bit is their irons. Now in the past, they've had some stunning irons. The Cobra MBs and CBs have been amazing, but they haven't really caught on in terms of a player's iron. Now, what they've released recently is the Cobra King Tour with MIM technology. Now, let's talk about the looks of this iron to begin with. A player's iron is usually something that's quite a classical feel and this doesn't have that. You can see that it looks more like a game improvement iron when you completely look at it from the back. It's not got that kind of matte finish, it's a bit shiny and it's all down to personal preference here. I'm not going to say it looks bad, um, but I do prefer something like the Mizuno JPX 91 Forge Tour because that's a lot classical of a feel. Those MB kind of MC irons I think look really nice. and. Although this is the exact same design, it's got a little bit more of that kind of commercial aspect to it that you'll see in something like, let's say the TaylorMade Sim Max. So it's down to personal preference here, but it's quite an interesting look for a player's iron. Now looking down at the club is where I think the, there's a lot of improvement here. It's definitely a player's iron and it looks superb. I'll, as you can see, I put this down by the JPX 921 Tour and it looks very similar. But the difference here is it being forged or cast. So let's go quickly back to the studio and talk about the technology behind this iron. So looking into the Cobra King Tour iron a little bit more, there's a, some really interesting technology involved with this iron. You've got the basic tungsten weighting and you've also got the Tour cavity back that I've mentioned before with precise control and workability, which is pretty normal for a player's iron, let's be honest. One nice added bonus is you have the Cobra Connect feature, which means you can connect it to Golf GPSs and the Acros feature as well, which gives you a lot of data about your swing. But the most interesting bit of technology in this iron is the MIM technology. Now I'm sure you're wondering right now, what is that? MIM technology is metal injected molding in the face. And Cobra say this is supposed to be even softer than a forged iron. So completely different to forge and completely different to cast as well. A completely different way of creating a golf iron. It's a very big claim, so it'll be very interesting to see how this club performs. Let's get right back to the launch monitor. So I've hit about 20 to 30 balls with the Cobra King Tour iron with MIM technology. This is a standard 7 iron with KBS Stiff Flex. Um, and the results were pretty surprising actually. You can kind of tell at the start of this video, I didn't really have high hopes for this iron. I'm more of someone who likes that classical feel. To be honest, I'm a bit stubborn for doing that because as you can see by the results here, my seven iron or this seven iron was going about 184 to 185 yards. I'll put the data up on the screen now. Now, my six iron of my Callaway Apex MBs goes 184 and 185 yards. Now there's obviously a lot of difference between these two clubs, but nevertheless, talking about the feel of this club, you can tell it's a player's iron, but it's not an MB, it's not even an MC. It has forgiveness, it really does. And I think that's why the look of this club is so commercialized. It's not one of those like the TaylorMade P7 MC. That's an iron that although it is a mid cavity, it's not really, it's still really hard to hit. This is not like that. This is quite an easy club to hit. And for a club that's trying to get into that kind of target market, it's the exact thing that Cobra should be doing in this current time. 
they're not limiting themselves as to someone who is a good ball striker. I'm by no means a good ball striker, and I think this club is superb. It goes a long way, and the technology is new, as, as I've said in the technology section. You can see I'm getting an increased distance to my current gamer, but there is similar distance to the other irons that I've tried in 2020, like the TaylorMade P770 and the P7MCs. But these do go a little bit further than the Mizuno JPX 921 Tours, but I would probably put that down to the lofts. So where would I rank these? compared to the irons that I've tried in 2020. It's tough to say really because I do prefer the looks of other irons that have been released. But when you get the results that I have got from this testing, I have got better results with this than I did get with the P770s because they were less forgiving. So in terms of being smart, I would rank these above the TaylorMade P770s for my game because I think having that extra bit of forgiveness but still looking down at the club and having that thin top line and the confidence to hit the ball is exactly what you want. So if I swallow my pride, I would say this is probably the exact club I should be getting. Now, if I'm then putting it against that, so the TaylorMade P790, I do prefer that club. That's literally my favorite club of this year. But having a club with completely new technology come in and go very high in my ranking is very impressive. So if you're in the market for a new player's iron, or even just any kind of iron, as long as you're a decent ball striker under the handicap of 20, have a hit with this. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the forgiveness you get out of it and just how nice it feels off the face. If you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for future content and equipment reviews. We've got a lot of really exciting new content coming out and as you can see, I've got the perfect place to review it now. I'll see you guys at the next video.